Whoops. Whoops. Let's go ahead and... Game kind of quiet, though, not gonna lie. Oh, that's way too loud. 41, how's that? 41's probably fine. It's also probably way too fucking loud, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> we'll go ahead and start with a, um... God, hiccups. One, I'm playing... I roll warriors. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start with a Linkle mission, just so we can just casually fucking destroy everything. Cause as we all know, Linkle is fucking busted. She looks fucking fiery and angry as shit. All right. Yeah, literally, literally got a soon today fairy. Alright, let's go ahead and go into here. Um, yeah, let's just start battle. Fuck it. Oh, it's one of these missions! Okay, see, I didn't realize this, though. So. so, I keep forgetting that when it says destroy all enemies, that it means, uh... That it means, like, you know, get into the one room and beat the fuck out of, like, two enemies. Like, I tend, I tend to forget that's, like, basically what the game ends up meaning. Whenever it has anything like this, that is. Which, you know what? That's fine. Because, to be real with you, it's fucking easy. I believe my character might be slightly overleveled for this. I could be wrong, though. I've been wrong before, so I'm willing to state that I could be wrong this time. Even though I'm like 88,000% fucking sure that I'm 100% correct. Like, all the time. You know, it's, it's great to wake up in the morning and realize that I'm correct 100% of the time. You know, it's really funny that I say stupid shit like that, but it's even funnier to realize that some people actually think like that. Like, some people are so self-absorbed, they end up just fucking... They just wake up and like, God damn, who do I get to grace with my presence today? Like, I get... XD RAR. Sup, bag. You know, the funny thing is, is I have absolutely zero game and get zero bitches, so I believe Hobag would be the fucking opposite of what I am. <laughs> Whew. Hmm. Let's see here. Take him out. Take him out. No? Did you not want to... Okay. I was a little worried the game was just going to just outplay me by doing fucking nothing. Come on. One shot. One shot. No? All right. <laughs> you can always hope. Doesn't mean it's going to happen. I mean, I'm still just going to keep hoping, though. Nothing's gonna stop me from just hoping for the best and hoping I just... Yeah, there we go. How the fuck did the other guy even die? He wasn't even in range. He just kind of fell over. How oh, don't you get bitches? You're fine AF. Aw, oh, well thank you! I mean, don't get me wrong. I fucking love how I look so goddamn much. Oh no. I'll be fair, I also don't try that hard. Like, I am a... Uh... <laughs> I am definitely a hard catch to get, that is for sure. I am a... <laughs> I am one expensive and difficult date. I am... I'm not just one person who you like, you know, you take him out to... Take him out to dinner one time and then, you know... Home plate, like, you know, it's not... I will say I'm a very, very difficult date. Bruh. <laughs> Linkle is so adorable. She has absolutely zero sense of direction, and she has overpowered crossbows. I actually like the crossbows she's using right now because they look like the crossbows from uh, the Twilight Princess like Wii game. Not the Wii game, like the actual Wii game, but like the crossbow training Wii game. If anybody knows what I'm talking about, that's 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 what they look like, and it I don't know, it's very interesting. <laughs> Um, what are we looking at here? Defeat 600 enemies in time. That should be fucking easy. What is that? That looks cool. Ah, uh, that means I need to use Agatha. I don't want to fucking use Agatha. Agatha is, like, objectively the fucking worst character in the game. I fucking hate her. Oh, she's level 37, though, so that's, that's pretty good. We need to level up some of our other characters. Who do we need to level up? Probably Skull Kid. Skull Kid will work. Yeah, that'll work. Let's do Skull Kid, and we'll do Loyla. And then we'll have someone else who's really OP to take out everything else, a.k.a. 
Um, you really can't go wrong with Link. I'll be honest with you. Link is like probably the best character in the game. So I will. He's so good that he breaks his neck in the fucking loading screen. Most ass character. Okay, I'm glad someone agrees. Because I fucking hate playing as Agatha. Also, she creeps me out. Because she says that she wants to fucking flop around in snail slime. It makes me very uncomfortable. Like, I don't... I'm not going to be the one to tell you what to do in your own time. Just don't tell me what random snail slime that you, you know, fly around in. I'd, I'd personally not like to know. <laughs> like, maybe that's too much to ask. I... Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I just... I think it's a little weird. It's definitely on the, uh, I don't know, kind of scale, you know? That scale, I'm sure somebody knows what I'm talking about. You know, I'm kind of, okay, hold up. I've not really used Skull Kid, so I'm just kind of waiting to see how bad he is. Honestly, seems to be pretty good so far. I hope it's not Manhandler. God damn it. It is fucking Manhandler. Why is it always Manhandler? He's like the worst boss to get. Yeah, that move is fucking spicy. Link, on the other hand, needs to go kill Manhandla in the 1v1. And Skull Kid needs to go over here to the Reed Dead Knight. <laughs> okay, Manhandla. You're about to get manhandled. I hope you're ready. Fucking destroyed. And sorry if I get really. Oh my god, damn it. Damn it! I took damage. You know what? Actually, I don't mind because this dumbass really just sat here and did that. This is not gonna kill him. No, of course not. Of course it wouldn't. That's alright. Maybe that'll. <gasps> that does damage? Oh my god, hold up. Get played? Literally murdered through your steel exoskeleton? Honestly, I can vibe with it. And the gold drop just to make it extra spicy. What the fuck? What the fuck? Hello? No? No? Sir? Stop it. Stop it. Anyway, I started blasting. That's exactly what's happening. I'm just blasting. Um, Princess Peach's mommy. You know, uh, you are not the only one I've heard say that recently. I, uh, what was it, when that new Strikers game came out? I remember people being like, bro, is, like, Peach hot or, like, am I crazy? <laughs> or, like, uh, was it Alpha Rat as well saying, like, Peach was kind of hot? Like, I don't know. It's, it's, it's difficult to say. Like, I can't remember. I know I was watching Peanut Butter Gamer and then Alpha Rat, and I think they were kind of talking about the different characters being, like, really hot or whatever. It's always up in the air. Midna has inspired the troops. They have grown stronger. Where the fuck is Midna? Oh, well, there's Agatha. That's fine. Let me just take out Agatha real quick. Agatha, I hope you realize your time is now and your time is about to be over. Oh, are you going to do an ultimate? That sucks. My ultimate's better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, hello. Red, absolutely debated. What the fuck? No, fuck you. Oh, I'm saying someone, like, there's only more than one person. I mean, that's fine. <laughs> I always reference everybody in chat when they're uh, doing this because uh, a lot of my videos, especially the ones for my single player games, I end up putting on YouTube. So I always kind of talk for like anybody who's watching in post. Now I know not a lot of people watch in post, but I always like to talk as if they're all they're you know they're here watching like right this second because I I like them to feel acknowledged and important if that makes any sense. Okay. I think this is just my normal combo. 
Yeah, I think that's literally just my normal combo. Um, she is, bro. She is. Agatha's a hoe bag. I mean... So, going off of all the statistics that I have available, yes, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. You know, it seems like I'm play playing, like, really low-level missions because even as, like, a level 10 Skull Kid, I'm not getting a lot of experience from these kills. Like, I feel like I'd be getting a lot more experience, but I'm really not. I don't know, maybe I'm just expecting a lot more experience than what I'm actually getting. Also, that move's fucking busted still. God, that is probably... So, I don't really know how much how I feel about most of his uh, combos. Oh, I, I forgot he had that. He's got the... Uh, what is it? The um, fucking pro strats of... Uh, what's his face? Um, God, the Dragon Knight. I'll eventually think of his name. Um, someone in chat, help me out. What's the, what's the Dragon Knight's name? Volga. There we go. Never mind. I figured it out. Yeah, Volga. Volga has like that uh, the Dragon Breath, where it just fucking goes in like that range, like this, and you can drag it around and hit everybody around you. I'm glad to see Skull Kid has the same thing, but Skull Kid also has the spammy ass DPS ability, which is honestly fucking fantastic. Because this right here is honestly one of the best combos I have probably ever seen. I have not seen very many combos that just fucking destroy somebody's health bar. That is by far one of them. Link destroys health bars, but it's not because he does a lot of, like, good combos for destroying health bars. It's because he just does so much fucking damage. Um, there's one character, I think Volga really destroys health bars. Like, Volga or there was one character that really destroyed them. I don't know. See, this is the problem when I'm like switching back and forth between games. I can't remember anything about any of the games I'm playing. Like all the games tend to, tend to like blow to like blow. Yeah, they tend to blow each other. The back back of the parking lot. No, they tend to blend together. That's that's the word I'm looking for. So played. Come on. Yes. Yes. I got one level up. Okay, so that's the tornado one. See, that's an okay ability. I don't really like that one too much. That one's a little bit too stationary. That is not who I wanted to... Breathe, Edgy Gamer, breathe. Before you forget how, because honestly, I might. <laughs> Just keep screaming, it'll all go well. Yes, there we go. Hold up, 20 more kills. Just keep screaming, it'll eventually work, I promise. <laughs> See, I told you it worked. There we go. Good teamwork, good teamwork. If you keep screaming, Manhandle, it can't focus on the task at hand. Quality teamwork. Begone Thought? I need to make that into a point reward. <laughs> I should. I feel like Begone Thought would be a pretty good, uh, pretty good point reward, especially with some of the enemies I'd be fighting. Isn't it a uh, Tattle is the uh, kind of like bright yellow? And then tail is uh, the purple one. But it's spelt weird. It's like T-A-T-L and then T-A-E-L. Do it. I might have to. I don't know if I'll do it tonight, but it'd be definitely a sound effect I could add. I know right now I just have a big clusterfuck of uh, different sound bites. Just try to have, I just try to have like a variety of like anime, video game, and movie stuff. Because I know a lot of people like who watch me. Or, sorry, a couple of people that watch me don't really play video games. They just like to watch people play video games. So I like to have it as, like, a like an option for them. All attacks are devastating. See, I, I was not going to guess that one, so that's good. I was actually going to guess to move one of the uh, statues. 
All attacks are devastating. We're going to be making progress today, chat. Today is progress day. We will be pushing through all of this. We're going to play as... We're going to play as everyone's favorite fish girl. And then we're going to act like it's not weird. It's not weird. You have so much hairspray in your hair. See, hairspray... Okay. So, I could use hairspray. It would definitely keep me from having to fix my hair so often, because I'm always fixing my hair. But thankfully, usually it looks pretty good, even if I haven't fixed it yet. Um, but... Yeah, the, I honestly probably should get, like, hairspray to some degree, just so I don't have to fix my hair as much, like, when I'm on stream. But I just don't like how hairspray makes my hair feel, if that makes any sense. Like, I just, I don't enjoy it quite as much. You know, this is not at all what I meant to do, but I'm glad to see that's what we ended up with. Here we go. There's the good move. Now I can just run up into my ultimate ability immediately. I know that hair keeps falling down. Stop it. Stop ignoring me. Let me go buy some hairspray real quick. Share some of your hairspray chat. <laughs> there we go. You know, I gotta say, she has really pretty purple eyes. But purple, I also don't really think is like a like a natural eye color. I believe purple is very much not something you will normally get. Actually, you know what? Weirdly, enough, I think purple don't isn't there like a sickness that like turns your eyes purple or something like that? I could be very wrong, but if I remember correctly, there's like some type of uh, illness that turns your eyes purple, and that's like one of the big signs for it. I could very much be wrong though. go. So there's that. Yeah, these attacks or devastating missions are so easy. I love that they always keep making Princess Ruto the one to make me play as as well. Because, like, she's really slow. So the game's like, oh god, Edgy Gamer won't be able to do this with her. She's super slow. And then I fucking, you know, get on here as Ruto and absolutely fucking slay. I miss my emo hair. What the fuck, awesome bro? Oh, you want Edgy to say what the fuck? <laughs> oh, well you definitely got you definitely got the right answer for me. What the fuck? You definitely confused me. <laughs> well, if I look down at my chest, I don't believe there are any there. Sa I may be a fem boy, but the boy part is definitely there. <laughs> <laughs> God, you hate having ears. Dylan, don't Don't tell me you, you love you love listening to me every day. Honestly, Dylan, I'm I'm surprised you haven't bought like uh fucking s soundproof earbuds or something. I apologize. Huh? You would still hear me. You would still hear me. But we wouldn't be as close if they filled in the wall. We we would be. But we're like we're we're besties, so like. <laughs> I don't hear anything. <laughs> You're making this weird. That's Princess Rudo. This is this is fish lady. Fee is better. Princess Rudo just wants to sleep with Link. At least Fee is wholesome robot. Don't <laughs> shut the get your fucking room. <laughs> You're right, but I, I I know I know. You're right, but like I know. Yeah, except for at the uh, after the time skip. No no no, she's that she's an adult. Yeah. 
He made him an adult. Yeah. It it all it went forward through time. He didn't just randomly get older. He went forward in time. Anyways, <laughs> dude, when Yugi puts on the fucking little the the necklace that Yugi wears and <laughs> the freaking <laughs> the stupid Yu-Gi-Oh necklace is so great. Fucking Yugi is so lame, but then like the uh, the Pharaoh is such a badass. Yugi's like, oh, I don't know what to do, and the Pharaoh's like, watch and weep. <laughs> like it's so, it's so great. I honestly love it. Genuinely love it. Yeah, the fucking heart of the cards bullshit for Yu-Gi-Oh was so lame. I watched the entirety of Duel Kingdom, and I want you to know to this day, you, <laughs> Yu-Gi is fucking lame as shit. All right. I never watched Digimon. Has anyone in chat ever watched Digimon? Actually, you know what, chat? What's your favorite like like what 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 was better? Was it was it Beyblade, Bakugan, Pokemon, Digimon? Um Yu-Gi-Oh! You guys gotta let me know. What was what was everybody's favorite? What was the best? I'm kidding. Yeah, if we start having the the best argument, someone's gonna get tilted. The what? I'll admit, I have no idea. Come on, Agatha, use your shitty combos, girl. I believe in you. If you keep doing your only good combo, they're bound to die. So is this considered an enemy commander? It is, good. You know, at least we know for a fact that Agatha will get plenty of experience. <laughs> this is so fucking dumb. Chat, I hope you expect literally nothing but that the entire time I play as Agatha, because that will indeed be the entire time me playing as Agatha. Will be what you just witnessed, but on fucking infinite loop. Literally just the the one, two, three combo, just this. I might do something different here. Let's do something different because I have the ultimate. Uh, I've got my go go juice right now. I've got my highway go go juice. Such a stupid fucking stand name. It's. So I mean, it can be stupid and awesome. The power of beetles compels you! <laughs> You're all gonna go into a yellow submarine and then die together, alright? I'm sorry, I'd make better Beatles jokes, but I I didn't I don't listen to the Beatles. Someone's gonna come in here, Edgy Gamer doesn't listen to old music. Fucking lame. Lame. You don't listen to real rock? You don't listen to Metallica? Fucking You don't only listen to Metallica Queen and fucking Elvis? Like what is wrong with you, bro? God, you listen to a rock band that isn't fucking ACDC? How dare you? How? how there were fucking rock bands after Metallica? <laughs> Couldn't believe it. Thrash metal, more like trash metal. <laughs> that that was pretty good. I I don't listen to th I don't I don't think I listen to thrash metal. I can't remember what's considered thrash metal metal and what's not. So for any thrash metal fans, I actually don't know if I hate your music because I don't know what your music is. <laughs> that was pretty good. I'm, I was, I'm very happy with that. How dare you, sir? Bakugan for me. Hello Kitty was your favorite. I mean, that's a pretty good one. I think Hello Kitty was pretty hype. Like when Yugi had to, you know, summon Hello Kitty to take on the uh, Elite Four, I, I thought it was like the best part of the Digimon episode. Especially that opening, you know. It was Digimon. I might sound weird for this, but I actually want to play Hotel Mario. I mean, I wouldn't say that's super weird. I'd say it's a little weird, but that's not the most weird thing I've heard. Beyblade, Beyblade, let it rip. I'm surprised no one said Pokemon. Honestly, because Pokemon's been going on for so long. But I guess it's probably, like, overexposure. Like, everyone's seen Pokemon so much, they're just over it, you know? 
To be fair, you can't really go anywhere in life without seeing Pokemon, like, ever. Yeah, I I'm kind of waiting for the adult version of Pokemon, where Ash is an adult saying cuss words <laughs> while screaming at the other person for not letting him win the gym badge. <laughs> Chill out. We don't... We need no Gardevoirs or low punnies on my edgy gamer stream, all right? I am not Markiplier. I do not want to fuck the Pokemon. This is this is not edgy gamer smash your pass for Pokemon, because I can tell you right now, off the top of my head, 99.999% of them is definitely pass. Edgy gamer is a picky bastard. I can, I just, I don't know, man. I've never looked at a Pokemon and was like, yes. Like, I've, I've always, I've always looked at Pokemon and been like, oh, that's adorable. Oh, or that's cool. Like, it's, it has never went in any other direction. The boss key. I know what a boss key is, game. Don't lecture me, all right? There's just bringing a metal baseball bat on a car window and then continuing to fart in a microphone multiple times. Now nah, the newer Pokemon just kind of ruined the series for you. What'd they do in the newer Pokemon? We got one here, one there, and then one here. So we got one, two, and three. So it's that, that, and that. So it's all the ones in the corner. I got you. Oh, and then the one up top. Alright. Holy fuck, my allied base is gonna fall! Lana, you're not doing your damn job! I can't remember, I don't think there's an A-rank gift for this mission. I do believe it's literally just, I need to find the, uh, find the loot, basically. Walk into my trap! You've activated my trap card! God, I don't know any of the Yu-Gi-Oh card names. I kind of wanted to say a Yu-Gi-Oh card name, but it's been a minute. I did a Blue Eyes, uh, a Blue Eyes Dragon deck, so I have no idea. Like, well, that's not a trap card, Dylan. Fucking, I don't think Dark Magician is a trap card. I'm not gonna say, oh, you activated my trap card, Dark Magician girl. That's not a trap card, exactly. <laughs> you activated my trap card, Asphalto. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, bro. I can't. Sun Moon mostly. My girlfriend is into Beyblade and Yu-Gi-Oh. I mean, that's pretty fair. Beyblade and Yu-Gi-Oh are both pretty dope. <laughs> Why you laugh like that, bro? Who laughs like that? I do not laugh like that. I laugh... <laughs> I do not laugh like Frieza from fucking Dragon Ball. Okay, why is there so many enemies right here, by the way? I have killed so many goddamn enemies, and they're still spawning. I need to get the Gold Skulltalo, like, pronto. I'm pretty sure the Gold Skulltalo is probably going to disappear soon, so... We're just gonna run through. Xant, God damn it, you weird bastard! Shut up! Scream at somebody else. You know, I feel like Xant is the type of person who's not like allowed within like 500 meters of any civilization, because he's just like he's. <laughs> I feel like Xant's the type of person to be the fucking base for a psych ward <laughs> like kind of he kind of gives me the legitimately fucking insane vibes it's been a while since i played twilight princess though so the the jury's still out on if he's actually fucking insane there's not a single cartoon existent that will be better than the og ben 10 ben 10 is pretty high if i won't lie Ben 10 is pretty good, especially the original Ben 10. I liked the original Ben 10, and I liked the one where he was a little bit older as well. 
Like those were those were both really really good. OG Ben 10 is the greatest cartoon ever, and I will fight you and your mom if you disagree. Well, in my own opinion, I think Adventure Time is still probably my favorite cartoon. Like, my favorite cartoons ever is probably Adventure Time, Amazing World of Gumball, and Ed, Ed, and Eddie. And then when you really mention it, Ben 10 is probably up there as well, because Ben 10 is extremely good. But I've also not watched Ben 10 in a while, so for me, it very well could just be like nostalgia and me not realizing it. You kind of like Ag Agatha's Butterfly Wings? It's definitely a good accent, I will say that. Like, it's it's a good accent. <clears throat> Chow? Last cannon? Holy shit! Oh my god! Fuck, bro! Glass cannons broke. Change my fucking mind. But guess what? You can't. All right? That shit's unfucking real. I am appalled by the sheer disgusting levels of damage I just did. Also, the fact that I'm not level 40 yet, while I'm still just laying waste to fucking legions. You like Ed and Eddie? Oh yeah, Ed and Eddie's fucking hilarious. I love Ed and Eddie. Ed boy! And then the good old uh, fucking crazy canker sisters. Then you've got, um, what's his name? Oh god, what's his name? Kevin. It's like, fucking, or he didn't say fucking. Obviously he doesn't say fucking. Uh, dorks. I, th I think that's what he calls them. It's been a minute. It's been a minute since I've watched that as well. Yes, yeah, stupid dorks. Of course, me always saying curse words. <laughs> can't say the can't say what it is without accidentally saying a curse word alongside it. You know, I feel like there's gotta be like there's there's rocks on the map usually that hide a treasure chest or two. So my main question would be where the fuck are these treasure chests? I don't know. Kind of like looking around, thinking like maybe here, maybe here, but I don't really know. You've got a point. You've got a point. Whoever was screaming, you've got a point. Remember, Ed ate an entire metal slide because he had a pebble in his shoe. Yeah, yeah, dude, peb having a pebble in your shoe will definitely ruin your mood. And I will say for Ed, that, that mood was something fucking fierce. That when that man's mood got ruined, it ruined everybody's mood. Like, <laughs> everybody knew. And you know what? I, Ferdinand oh, Von Bra. Exactly. Even Ferdinand Von Bra agrees that like getting getting a pebble in your shoe is just not it. It's not it. God damn, bro. There we go. I just kind of want to tank the damage, because once again, I don't think I get anything for A rank, so I'm just going to go in for the completion rather than the A rank. I don't know. I think I need A rank to actually fully do the entire, uh, the entire, like, everything. Let's see here. I'm still looking for a rock, though. Because I know they hide treasure chests in rocks. I know that. Now, I know they did that mostly in the original version, but I know this version does it too. Like, I know it's not just the uh, the original version. 
Which, if anyone is curious on what version of this game I am playing, I am playing the Deluxe Edition. So that if you see anything in here that looks a little weird, like compare in compared to like your version or whatever, that would be why. So much just excess damage. Oop. Hopefully this is actually something for Agatha this time and not just, you know, random parts of the map. I keep wanting to press B. I can still tell. I can still see that, like, you know, le my mind is still kind of, like, focused on the, um... Ah, oh, what is it? On three ha three hopes, because like when I played three hopes and it had like the you know the similar gameplay and everything, it kind of got drilled into my brain to be pl like playing that game. But you know since I'm not playing that game, it's it's throwing me off a little bit. Doesn't this give you something good? One rupee. You know what? Pretty hype. Won't lie. I'm trying not to summon the butterfly. I'm trying just to do normal combos, and then, you know... Honestly, anything other than summoning the beetle is fucking useless. Oop. Please be good! Please be the other one! Maybe? Jazz hands? Yes! Yes! We did it. We got both the things for Agatha, so I don't have to fucking play as her anymore. At least not on this mission. As long as I don't have to play as the fucking worst character. I just, I can't. I can't. I don't like playing as her. Is that Midna? Midna, didn't I already, like, defeat you, or am I thinking of a different mission? I don't know. So, Midna, best companion in Zelda. Change on mine. I do like that she hums the uh, Twilight theme. I really do. I don't know, probably best like companion in Zelda. I think that Midna and Fee are probably like tied for best. Just because they are just really, really good companions. Like it's really hard to top either of them, to be honest with you. They're they're both very much top tier. Oh, it's King Dodongo, thank god. I don't know why, but I was immediately thinking, Manhandla! And I was like, oh. No! <laughs> no! And I was about to be very upset, but no. Thank god. It is not Manhandla. It is King Dodongo. Okay. I just, bro, I just fucking hate fighting Manhandla. The only time I want to fight Manhandla is if I'm doing, like, someone who's four, four times the correct level so I can just one-shot him. I mean, that's how I feel with any boss in this game, but specifically that man. Specifically that giant metallic plant. That terrifying house plant. Agatha always gave you the creeps. Midna is the best. You spelled Agatha wrong? Oh, he did. Agatha. I mean, that's fair. Honestly, I don't expect anybody to spell anything correctly because, like, let's be real. We're all at a const constant war with, uh, you know, autocorrect, so pretty much everything in the fucking world gets spelled incorrectly. I am beyond pissed. He did it twice! Did that kill him? Probably not. Damn, imagine getting uppercutted by a beetle. That's got to be at least slightly demeaning, right? Come on, there's the one. You know what? This one Dodongo kill will probably level her up.
And game. Yeah, no. No survival. Zero survival. Absolute, pure fucking destruction. The world! Fair. She l literally, Agatha, stopped time to defeat that Dodongo. Oh, you're playing Elder Scrolls Online? What class are you playing? Beetlejuice not required. Lol. Well, did you have a good time on Battlefield 2042? Did they ever, like, uh, fix the destruction that was that game's release? And beta? I have to get an A rank on this at some point. God, my nose is itchy. Ninety-six, eighty, ninety-six, eighty, eighty, hundred four, eighty-eight, ninety-six, hundred eighty-eight, hundred four, hundred four, one twelve, twelve, eighty-eight. Yep, forty-five thousand dollars. Ninety-six, hundred twelve, ninety-six, eighty-eight, one oh four, eighty-eight, one twelve. 104, 112, 80, 96. There we go. Zant's helmet. Honestly, was kind of waiting to get something like that. I don't think I've got Zant's helmet in like forever. Ooh, and we got a Skultula. I've also not gotten a Skultula in a while either. I feel like Skultulas are kind of hard to come by. Yet, um. A Nord Nightblade. I'm a stealthy dual wielding assassin. Alright. Running much better than launch. Yeah, Elder Scrolls Online, I believe that's a... Oh, it did have an A-rank victory. My bad. Well, I guess I could do that mission again. I'd probably do it as a way higher level character, though. Well, let's do a different mission for a moment. Let's go do... Uh, I think we had... What was it? Linkle for a mission? This one. We had Linkle for this mission. Let's go ahead and do Linkle for this mission. And let's go. Let's go to the bazaar. Badge market. Ooh, we can get more for her. You know what? I do like her, so I'll go ahead and take the Skull Kid stuff. Linkle does definitely use rare stuff, but honestly, totally worth it. Twilight Midna, Volga, Gidahim. Ah, uh, he's got the uh, yeah, these heals and all that good stuff. So, useful, I would say yes, but, like, that useful, not really. Um, let's just go with... Let's go with the hover boots. For now. Ah, Fee! Well, there we go. Fee can, uh... Fee can actually do a lot. The main, the main thing that Fee needs is this. And you know what? We're gonna just go ahead and get that. There we go. Because for whatever reason, Fee cannot break through fucking certain status things, man. It is... It gets infuriating to try and play as Fee when you can't really break anyone's stamina badge because you only really do, like, AoE attacks. So it's, like, constantly just not able to do anything. We got Midna. Um, we got Link's Scarf and then Goma's Acid. Let's go ahead and get Midna. I do rather like playing as Midna, so I think this would be a good good thing to play as. Um, yeah. yeah let's, just, let's just upgrade Midna more. I'm fine with that. Get her focus spirit up. Fucking Agatha, bro. Dude, honestly, don't care. Like, I should upgrade it, but I don't want to. <laughs> I really should, but I'm not fucking going to. Ah, Link! Ooh, I might do the focus spirit. Or I might do this one. Third, nah, let's do the focus spirit. Yeah, I'm good with that one. Get the super, like, high-ranking focus spirit. Also, fucking Link out here. He's got the uh, Korkiri, so Korkiri sword, the wooden sword, the giant's knife, and the gilded sword, which is such a uh, really cool side quest. I honestly really love the side quest for it. I thought it was really entertaining. Pretty good time. Cool, so we finally made a full circle. Um, I don't really think there's anything in here. 
Like, let's see, if I go to the apothecary, I don't think there's, like, anything actually in here that'd be worthwhile. Other than, like, maybe the, uh, like, money-wise or something like that. But even then, I don't really see it being all that good. Um, uh, boot, beast-like food drops. Weird-like food drops. What? What does that mean? What is weird like food drops? Let's just, let's just go for it. See, I'm not getting rid of my old rags. I'm getting rid of my metal, my metal plates. Metal plates are whatever, but my old rags, I cannot separate with a single one of them. All right, those things are useful. Damn it, bruh. General Kenobi didn't work. Well, here, let me play General Kenobi for you. Let me play the soundbite for you. Jesus, this dude fucking scared me. Sadly, I know plays it. I'm probably gonna run a melee and pistol only run on Cyberpunk. Bruh. <laughs> it knows. Why did that work, the fuck? Told you. <laughs> hello, for, hello there must come first. Absolutely required. Mmm. Mmm. Care for a taste of my strength. Save the stranded allied forces. One, two, three. Absolutely outplayed. Get good. One, two, and there. And that's game. There we go. Okay, there's that one captured. So, is there actually any, uh, was it this one? No. Current status. There we go. No. Warrior info. Is that where it tells me the Skulltal is? So there's no Skulltal on this map. Good. Okay. Open them up into my, <laughs> open the world up to my wrath. You know, these enemies can think they're winning, but they, they don't know what's happening. They're, they're completely unprepared for Linkle to come in and just decimate. No. <laughs> no. I don't think so. There we go. I do appreciate that Linkle is as good as she is. Once again... It would, it's all, like, I would feel really bad if Linkle was terrible while Link was absolutely broken. I feel like it only makes sense for the character that's just female Link to be as good as normal Link, because normal Link is probably the best character in this game. Like, the only person who holds a candle to him is Linkle and, uh, oh, Legend of Arceus. I, I've still heard, like, back and forth things about Legend of Arceus, like the Pokemon game. I've heard it's both great and terrible. Is that the one you've played, Dylan? Or you, no, you're playing Brilliant Diamond. My bad. You only just started playing ESO again? What do they got going on in ESO? Don't they have, like, all the different, like, areas for, uh, you know, the Elder Scrolls? Like, in that game? Like, you can go literally anywhere? I'm talking about the uh, MMO one. Oh, no, 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 not that one. Uh, we're talking about Elder Scrolls Online. But Arceus is the free roam one, yes. Um, who is low health? My man's down here. Okay, so it looks like who I'm going to. Yay! Lana, just stay calm for a moment. I'm going to ignore you and you're not going to do anything. Got it? Got it. Got it. More cuckoos have appeared on the battlefield to help defeat more enemies to summon more Kuko reinforcements. I mean, that sounds like a good idea. That sounds like a fantastic deal. Defeat more enemies, get more reinforcements. That sounds like exactly what I want. <laughs> this game might be telling me exactly what I need to what I need to hear right now. Lana, shut up. Lana, stop talking.
Goodbye, Alana. Oh, uh, what? She's alive? How? Impossible. And sniped. You know, that's honestly what's happening right now. Think, uh, sadly, sorry, I said thankfully. Sadly, I'm not doing near the one-shot damage I was doing as Link earlier. That shit was dumb. That shit was the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Okay, Lana. Say goodnight. You're gone. Really? There you go. Thank you. You're welcome, Hylian Captain. You're welcome. So I don't think th I don't think this area should be a problem with Zant, but I do believe Zant is absolutely getting like quadruple teamed right now. Zant, stop. <laughs> just just stop. Stop while you're ahead. I mean, you're already behind, but just 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 go ahead and stop now. Stop while you're already behind. Like you were ahead, you're starting to get behind. Just stop all of it right now, please. Okay, Volga, I'm going to need you to chill. All right? I'm going to hit you with a daddy chill, and we're going to come back to it later, okay? Thank you. Daddy Volga is going to have to calm down in the corner, and we'll eventually come down there to help him. Hopefully. <laughs> we're going to get there as quickly as possible. Doesn't mean we're going to get there in time, though. But I will be sprinting there at maximum velocity. And magnitude, just like Vector, the ultimate supervillain, the one, the one individual I could only hope to be as powerful as. You know, I feel like I feel like if Vector would have won, the Minions movies would have been better. That's all I'm saying. Uh, they have most of Tamriel. Okay, so they do have, like, most of the places you can go then. Woo! There we go. There we go. Our boys are all safe. I don't think Zant died yet, has he? No, I believe he has. I just don't think I killed him. Therefore, it's not going to give me the loot for killing him because I didn't kill him. I mean, honestly, if that's, like, what's going on, then I'll, I can live without it. It's okay. Like, as long as my oh, fucking shit. team is genuinely staying alive. Even though the home of those high and mighty fucking high elves. Even the home of those high and mighty fucking high elves. I'm gonna lurk while I finish Pokemon Legend Arceus. Only got five Pokemon left to get till I can get Arceus. Fucking hate high elves. The Thalmor and Skyrim are trash. Well, I really don't know anything about the High Elves. Like, I am very unversed in the ways of uh, Skyrim or Elder Scrolls. So, like, I really can't give much input. But well, he is that guy. No, he's not. <laughs> I'm literally the guy. Come on. I'm feeling 80. 42. What? Only half as many as I thought I was going to get. Nice. Nice. Wow, let me check something real quick. I will read that in a minute. That was a lot longer than I thought it would be. <laughs> okay. Well, hello? Why are you still... This Isn't this my base? Why are you spawning in my base? What? Why are you... Who invited you? All right? You are not part of my... Why are you still spawning here? Get the fuck out. Go the fuck away. Go away. Are we done? Are you done spawning enemies in my own base? Fucking hope so. I got one more, so let me go down to the bottom one and take it, just to make sure. Apparently that one has a, uh, a treasure chest in it, and we might as well grab it. 
Actually, how long have we been in here? Seven minutes? I think I need to beat the game in ten minutes for it to not be like B rank, B rank or whatever. B rank. The B rank. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Everyone, calm the fuck down. I'll come back to that in a moment. Okay, defeating the commander. Almost there. Um, please get there in time. Run faster! So much running. The worst part about this is because my teammates are in here. There's like no enemies to take out, but they didn't even do the decency of doing any capture percentage yet. Watch be a shitty chest. God damn it is a shitty chest. Fuck. Pop that bitch open and run. Run! Run like your life depends on it because you're Oh my god. Okay, hold up, hold up. This This has gotta be out of my range. How much experience am I getting? Yeah, look at that experience. 40 kills, that was a lot more than 40. I don't care what the game says. The game can say 40 all at once. That was definitely like 80. Maybe even 120. The game can talk all the shit in the world. I don't care. It's just wrong. Also, that green rose looks kind of hype. I don't think I've ever seen a green rose now that I think about it. Like, I love how red roses look, but I don't think I've ever seen a green rose or a blue rose. I only ever see, like, yellow roses or, like, red roses or black roses or something. Who's ready for the teen rating? Yeah, see, that's pretty fucked up. That is very fucked up. Oh, it's not the masked version, it's the unmasked version. It's Dylan's favorite character. I will say her eyes are rather pretty. Okay. I'm sorry, Sia, but we're gonna have the best girl duel right now. We're gonna... <laughs> you, you can have your tits out as much as you want. You will not beat my crossbows. Yeah, this is this is gonna take a lot of just infinite combos. Come on, yes. Yeah, Sia, this is this is not this is not your day. This is my day. God, she's just not even attacking. She's literally not even attacking! Ah, oh, fuck. Now she has hyper armor. God damn it. Where are your weaknesses, woman? She has no weaknesses! Game. No? Did it? And a gold drop. Fuck yeah. Defeat the summoner to stop reinforcements? I don't think it matters anymore. Like, I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure we've won the battle. Linkle with the boots is way better. Oh, she is. She's extreme. She is literally le so many leagues better. She's so much better, she got the A rank chest as well. Like she deserves. She still just looks so fucking happy opening that treasure chest. I honestly love it. Oh, what time is it? It's actually only 12.11. I might go ahead and hit... I might do my first bathroom break and then come back. Oh, might do my first bathroom break of the night. I don't know qu quite for how long I'll be streaming, but I'll be streaming for a minute. She also does wear extremely subtle eyeshadow. 
It's like it's like enough to be noticed. It's like enough to see it and to like add a little cute accent, but it's not to the point to where it's like a lot, you know. I love eyeshadow personally. I love eyeliner and eyeshadow the most. I think it looks really well. Ah, oh, okay. Yep, A rank across the board. What did you expect? Only best girl is the only one that's gonna get A rank every time. Go, and then we can get Lana's new weapon. Um, go ahead and take out the fire ring because I can. Screw it, and then weather. Not worried about that. Uh, what is this? This is a bomb, I believe. But where would the bomb even be? Actually, I don't think the bomb can be anywhere. Yeah, I don't think you can bomb anywhere on there. I think you have to do the, uh... The power bracelets? Let's see. Yeah, I was gonna say, that's the only, that's the only logical explanation. Okay, cool. So, uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Let me, uh, I'm gonna use the bathroom. And, uh, you know what? Izzy and uh, anyone else who plays Skyrim, what is like the uh, you know like the main, what's the main race you chose when you played Skyrim? I always chose an Argonian because I think Liz the lizard people in Argo in uh, Skyrim were fucking badass as shit, and I loved the super overpowered ability to like heal at like light speed whenever I wanted to, like once a day. So uh, feel free to let me know like what type of uh, like the race and class and everything you guys usually chose inside Skyrim, and why, you know, and why. I will be right back.
my mic fucking working? Hold up. Hello? 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 Apparently my fucking mic unplugged. <laughs> what the hell? Ow. Oh god, that sounds awful. Hold up. That sounds fucking awful. Give me a second. We're gonna turn the audio off for the stream. And then we're gonna turn it back on. It should sound better now. But, anyways. Nord of the fucking great sword and heavy ass armor. I felt invincible. Or I'd be a stealthy Nord or Khajiit archer. Is there any specific reason you'd always pick Nord? Did you, like, really like the uh, beginning stats as a Nord? Or did you, like, really enjoy how the Nords looked? Or was, like, a, was there any more, like, like, depth to it? Or was it very kind of, just, like, base level? Like, you just really liked how it looked and everything. Actually, no, we haven't done. I don't think we've fed any of our fairies or anything in a while. Let's do that. I want a game called Sonic the Hot Dog. I mean, that's a very specific thing to ask for, but I mean, that's fair. Nords get bonuses for two-handed weapons. See, like, that's a, that's a fair reason, I think. Viola. She looks pretty cool. Chomp. I like how Chop looks. Chop looks so fucking pissed. How are you feeling today? I am feeling fantastic, Cody. How about you? Um, let's go ahead and upgrade uh, Viola. I feel like. Oh, wait, don't we have the water one? Yeah, we've got Golia, Viola, Chomp. Um, let's see here. And we've got. I'm doing. You know what? Here, let's. Oh, I can get a second one? What else can I get? Uh, actually, no, I don't think I have enough, like, things to get any other abilities. No, I don't. Okay, that's alright. Um, dining room. I've gotta have... I actually don't have that many, to be honest with you. So this one makes her sparkly, valiant, eager, and resolute. But I need her to be friendly! Well, she doesn't really... Well, she's the, she's the light fairy. She does kind of need to be sparkly. She doesn't really need to be resolute, though. So none of these really work for her. Okay, how about Viola? How about you, Viola? Um, Resolute, eager, and sparkly. So that kind of makes sense. We'll give you two of these. Was that level up you like twice? Yeah, that'll work. And then Chomp, she doesn't need to be sparkly. Friendly doesn't look correct either. <laughs> Um, smiley and aspiring. Well, that's kind of wholesome. Um, maybe. Well, maybe I need to get some like different food. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. I'm unsure. All I know is that I'll probably do this one because I really don't need. I I don't really think my uh dark fairy will be very friendly. So we'll just do that one. We'll make her. Make her uh, a little sparkly. Um, dining room probably friendly. Yeah, probably. Uh, let's do three of these. That'll work. We're just kind of upgrading the fairies. I've not upgraded the fairies in a while, so I feel like it'd be nice to upgrade them. You know. Yeah, I uh, I can't remember what Argonians got bonuses for. Argonians got bonuses for like random shit. Like, didn't they get bonuses for like uh, thieving and stuff? I can't remember. Like, thief skills, I believe. Like, they were, uh... Not archery, but, like... I don't know. I'm trying to think. I don't know. I can't remember what Argonians, like, started with. But I think they were, like, really good at at thief stuff, I believe. I could be wrong, though. I could be wrong. Damn it, and he did damage to me. Fuck. Pull up. There we go. God, this is so broken. Holy shit, Zant. Oh my god, bro. 
Yeah, no, this is, uh, this battle's already over. I know it's already, it just started, chat, but it's already over. Yep, just like that. <laughs> God damn. No, just everybody run away. Everybody run away from Link. You can't beat him. Save yourself. Exactly. Literally run in terror. You can't stop this man. He's too powerful. Beat 500 enemies. I just basically woke up this morning and chose fucking violence. That's all I have to do when I'm playing is Link. I just wake up and then everything fucking dies. Cool. Well, oh no, is one of my bases getting low health? Like that fucking matters. Let me walk down here and one shot the person who's attacking me. He he dares step foot in one of my bases? Hi. Think fucking not. That is where that's where you messed up, friend. You're all done. Yeah, fiery Elphos, that's that's alright. I just realized I'm still doing like the uh, Skyward Sword uh armor, I believe. I should do like the uh, the Zora outfit. I should change the outfits on my characters. They're all they're all kind of being samey right now, so I should I should try some different drip for a little bit. Where are the where do the where are the Kukos at? I need to help out the Kukos. Okay, so that's Mama Kuko. So I need to help out the Kuko chick or the Mama Kuko. Escort Kuko chick to Mama. Mama Kuko. Okay, see, that'd be easy. Well, that's fine. Let me just go ahead and delete these enemies, and I'll go save the Kuko chick. The last, the last thing I need is to be pissing off the Kukos. Yeah, no. Keep, keep standing in my way. You'll, you'll figure out the fuck up soon enough, game. Lure out the commander by taking out the other commanders. Okay, done. <laughs> What's next? I'm waiting for a difficult mission. Come on now, hit me with it. I mean, to, to be fair, it's not it's not fair for the game to try to account for the fact that Link is, you know, level 50. Let's get a bunch of Link sounds as uh, sound bits for Zelda streams. Um, I should definitely get some Zelda sound bits for uh, my streams, cause especially because I fucking love Zelda a lot. Which I think tomorrow, aren't I streaming Zelda again tomorrow? Not this game, but like uh, Phantom Hourglass, I believe. I can't remember. I'd have to go check. And game. There we go. Which I still, I'm still kind of excited to play Phantom Hourglass because I've, like I said, it's one of the few Zelda games in existence I haven't beaten, so that makes it a very unique experience for me because of just me never having beat them or n never, have, never have played that game. Wizro, shut up. Oh, he's gonna get one shot if I keep fighting him. Let me get the fuck out of here. <laughs> if, if I stay in here, he will not survive, all right? He won't live for me to one-shot him later. He will be one-shot right this second, and then the mission will be over. And I do not want the mission to be over quite yet. Not not right this second. Maybe, maybe in like a minute or two. But right now, no, I kind of need to escort somebody. If you wouldn't mind, Wizro, wait patiently. I'll come back and slap you later, okay? It's not, it's not your turn. Okay, what? I need to take the one there, the one there. Okay, so I need to take the ones right here by each other. So let me just go ahead and take these, because I don't think the Kuko is going to really need any more uh, guiding. I kind of believe he's already safe. Oh, well, until that fucking happens. Until suddenly an ambush. Why do the enemies care so much about a baby chicken? What power does this baby chicken hold? I don't understand. 
I mean, I wish to say, I. in this game, they're not that bad. Maybe if this was like Ocarina of Time or something, I'd be like, you know what? Fair. But this game, it's like, you know, it's not near as much of a threat. Like, I'm not nearly as scared as if I were playing a normal mainline Zelda game. If this was a mainline Zelda game, I'd be immediately running to the help of any chicken that requires my help. Because otherwise, they're going to fucking kill me. And, yep, you're all done. Skylar theme is the best theme in the game. I, uh, yeah. I, I would say Skyloft theme, if it's not the best, it is definitely one of. If it isn't at least number one. It's got to be at least up there. Um, Midna? Fucking excuse me. All right. Stop. Get the fuck out of here. Who said you could attack my base? Not me. Zelda, all I gotta say is you need to pick up your slack, girl. You can't be, you can't be getting, getting targeted by the entire enemy militia as soon as I walk away. I mean, it didn't help that I did walk away and let that happen, but I'm still gonna blame you for it because I'm playing as Link. Literally, nothing's my fault. I am borderline immortal. All right. Like I have half a mind to go to like the fucking hero rank missions and just play them as Link and then see how fucking easy they are. Even though I'm pretty sure they would still be rather difficult because hero missions are insane. If if I'm remember if I'm remembering them correctly because I remember the hero missions are super fucking difficult. Cuz I know the hard ones like were already annoying as hell to get through. I don't know. I feel like for this version of the game, right, this, um, for the Deluxe Edition, they kind of did, like, really decent power scaling to where I never feel like I have to grind, uh, you want a steampunk version of Zelda? I feel like steampunk is probably your favorite, uh, like, style for a video game. Or, like, theme. There we go. Theme. Ah, steampunk's alright. I... I don't really find Steampunk, like, my favorite, but I wouldn't complain if that's what Zelda wanted to do. Like, if they felt like they had a lot of creative decisions they could make around the Steampunk vibe, I would not be against it by any means. I would think that as long... I think as long as uh, the creators of Zelda have good ideas for the game, then they should they can keep making them. But if they run out of ideas, I don't think they should have to. I think that it should only make it if they feel like they can make a good game. Even though I'm sure Nintendo's like, nope, nope, you gotta make a good, you gotta make a game, it's gotta be good. You better, if you don't got ideas, you better fucking make some, you know? I'm pretty sure, like, for the Zelda games, it's probably something like that. Almost undoubtedly, but. I still like to think about the, uh, you know, the importance of quality. Yeah, no, done. Game. Imagine Link fighting steampunk robots. Well, I know, like, inside of, uh... You fight... No, you fight the robots inside of, um... Breath of the Wild. So, like, are you saying they need more fights like that? Is that what you kind of mean? Or, like, what exactly do you mean? Because I will say, I've not really played a lot of games that have steampunk in it. Like, Link could have a grapple hook or an auto crossbow, auto crossbow or other steampunk stuff. Yeah, I know absolutely nothing about steampunk. Would, like, Bioshock be considered steampunk? I don't know. I've never even played Bioshock, even though I've been told Bioshock is, like, one of the best games ever made. I've always just been really into fantasy, personally. Like, I just really love fantasy video games and fantasy anything. Like, and, and thankfully, fantasy is very popular, so I get lots of stuff, you know, to look at and watch and play because of how popular fantasy is. The enemies are hidden. All right. I think it's this one, right? 
Nope. Damn. Hold up. I will fucking find this. <laughs> Mark my words, chat. This will be mine. I was gonna say it's one of these. Defeat the Demon King. Is that even a hard mission, or is that like... I feel like that'd be a pretty fucking easy mission, pers personally. Mission. Mission. I don't know why I pronounced it weird. Um, let's see here. What's this here? We haven't done any of these. We haven't done any of these. This has got a new fairy in it, so I don't worry about that. This one's got a fairy uh, outfit, so that's nice. This one's Young Link. What level is that? Fight through the action quiz. Um, we can play as Young Link. I'd be fine with that. Why not? Let's see if Young Link can handle it. Actually, what costume we got? We got the, uh... Got the hero's clothes, the trainee tunic, the Zora tunic, which is what I was thinking of using. The Goron tunic looks pretty snazzy as well. Knight of Skyloft, Era of Wilds. Uh, we'll, we'll definitely... Let's, let's rock over to the Goron tunic. I kind of like that. Um, who are we playing as? Playing as Toon Link. Did we get any other? I, th I was gonna say, didn't we get costumes or whatever? That's all right. I feel like some of these costumes are probably not that good. Like, let's see here. Well, okay. So I kind of like the red. Let's see. Ooh, see, that's a hard call. I feel like purple is a really pretty color, but I feel like she pulls off red really well. So, like, that's a, that's a hard call. But that is actually a hard call. But I also don't play as that character ever. When Wicker Robes... See, now this looks terrible. Well, okay. It looks bad, but it doesn't look as bad as, like, it could. It could look worse. How do Era <laughs> Breath of the Wild. Okay, which Zelda is best Zelda? I'm going to start a war in chat. Which Zelda is best Zelda? I'm, I'm, I'm expecting everyone to say either Breath of the Wild or uh, Link Between Worlds. Those are the two I'm kind of expecting right now. I would personally have to say Breath of the Wild Zelda is really high up there because I think they did a decent job giving her personality. Like, I enjoyed watching the struggles of Zelda inside of Breath of the Wild. And it's been a while since I've played the other Zelda games where she has like a little bit of a personality, so it's hard for me to really remember. Oh, Scoured Sword also really good as well. But, I don't know. I like, I like the sass of uh, <laughs> Breath of the Wild. Do you fucking mind, my guy? Let me just transform into a god. Nice. Ariolfos, it is your... What the fuck? What the fuck? Die! How, who the fuck says you can still be alive? I got hit by an attack from a guy that's dead, but he's nowhere to be found, and there's no loot anywhere to show that he died. Fronezguez, well, 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 if it isn't the Edgy Game 3-er, welcome in, Frones, welcome in. The Edgy Game 3-er is still <laughs> trucking forward, heading towards the eventual 100% that may or may not ever happen. Oh, you're fucked. The Moblin's definitely... Hello? Oh, it's a quiz! Alright. Alright. It was a quiz. It's a quiz. Been a while. What have you been up to, Frones? I've been, I've been still vibing, playing a fuck, fuckload of games. Play... I've mostly been playing like this, Monster Hunter, Darkest Dungeon, um, the winged one, okay.
played. Come on, take out Aerial Post. Yes! Perfect. Yeah, I kind of forgot that I was doing a quiz one. I assumed, I was like, oh yeah, I'm doing the murder all the enemies one. That's exactly what I'm doing. Um, I started, I uh, did an entire playthrough of uh, Fire Emblem Three Hopes. I started a Bloodborne playthrough with Dylan. I've been doing a No Death, No Bonfire runs on Dark Souls 2. I've been doing Monster Hunter, Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare for Honor. Um, I think I did a little bit of Halo Infinite and uh, the Belly Flopper. Now I've just been just playing a fuckload of games. Having a good time. Having a good time. This is what I'd say I've been doing. I defeated the correct enemy. Well, I'm glad. Glad. So, this is the next quiz. Chat, I can't lose the next quiz. It all comes down to this. There's a lot of exams. Uh, fi finally, the prelims are over now just for the end exams in two months, and then I get... can get the fuck out of high school. Yeah, high school can definitely be annoying, especially with some of the uh, dumb stuff they make you do. Ah! Okay. I feel better now. Just ignore that. Ignore everything you just saw, chat. It's okay. There we go. Cool. Fuck me, bro. What the hell was that? What the hell just happened? Why did I get played so hard by the game? The game literally played me. I'm not even using a controller right now. I put on Glass Cannon and immediate, immediately got hit by a two-hit combo and then died. That was probably the most embarrassing play I've ever done in a video game. I've done some fucking embarrassing plays. That is, that is quite the statement to say about any performance I've ever done in a video game. Because I've had some moments. Please do not hit the other guy. Okay, good. He's way the fuck over there. It's a difficult call for me to think about what I really want to do when I'm uh, getting, like, kind of spots like that. Thankfully, I'm high enough level to where, like, you know, I can reasonably kill enemies really quickly. But I've not played Young Link at all, so it's like... I feel like he attacks at a rate that's really easy for enemies to retaliate. Like, I feel like the best type of characters for taking out single enemies are usually characters like Volga or Link. Ones that basically combo the fuck out of anybody. When you have characters that leave openings, like, you know, Young Link does, it makes it very difficult for me to, uh... Played. No! You idiot! Stop it! What the... No. Thank you. Okay, cool. Game. Don't you love when you do a combo and your character decides that it's time to play a song? <laughs> he was playing the Paris song from Pokemon just so I could Paris together with my enemy. Yeah, like our math grade average is 40%, but oh god forbid if our hair is a centimeter too long. You cheated in math? Well, that's... So, like, genuinely, like, not even a not like trying to sound like holier not like not trying to sound like holier than thou or better than thou or anything but math was my strong suit in high school by far like by far math was definitely the easiest class i had like math was probably easier to me than my electives were like on a genuine real note like, I don't really know what it was, but, like, math, for me, just always made sense, you know? Like, when I went to go do a math problem or whatever, it's like, I would look at it, and I'd be like, you know what? This makes sense. This is how you solve it. This is what I need to do. And then it was just basically drawing a line from this to this. 
Edgy Gamer doesn't support whatever the fuck you do in your own time. Whatever you do in your own time is your, yours and your your idea and your choices alone. I am I am no part of it. So if you want to you want to do whatever you want, then you do whatever the fuck you want. Attend the festival of cuckoos. That sounds really bad and dangerous, but all right. Um, let's see here. Well, treasure's good. I could definitely look forward to that. Uh. I really don't know what character to play as. Let's try uh, let's try beating this as an A rank. Let's see. What character should I play as? Well, this is a difficult miss mission, so I play as Link again. Or we could play as another character. We could play as Gita him. We've not played as Gita him yet today. Or we could play as Ganondorf. You know, Ganondorf would be pretty nice to play as. Let's play. Let's do some Ganondorf plays. I've really not played as Ganon in a long while. And we can buy something for him. How perfect. What is this? Hello? Hello? What are you? Are you useful? Probably. Ah, uh, these are, like, kind of useful. These are nice upgrades to have, but definitely nothing I'm going to be too concerned about. I'm just going to buy them and move on. Bizarre. Apothecary. Yeah, just get rid of all of my metal plates. Who cares? I really don't think I have any weird food. I think I only really have, like, drinks. So I'm about to get a shitload of... Ooh, I do like the trident. Mm. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's rock the Wind Waker robes. And let's do the great swords. I like the trident, but the great swords are... The great swords have to stay. The great swords stay in hand. All right. Let's see. Um, it was the same for me until I skipped a year of math. Yeah, that will definitely fuck up your math for sure. Um, skipped math by writing the answer some tongue of your shoe or in your math binder. I mean, I guess that's one way to do it. That's a very creative way to go about it, I guess. God, I look so silly. You know, I think the weirdest part about any of this is doing these animations as Wind Waker Ganon. Wind Waker Ganon used, like, he did dual swords, yes, but he did not do dual swords, like, in this sense. He didn't use two gigantic fucking blades. He used two, like, thin scimitars, I believe. Oh, absolutely played. Shredded. Now that I think about it, is Agatha a higher level than my Ganon? Also, how do I get the other Skulltula now that I think about it as well? Complete the first mission and defeat 150 enemies with special attacks without losing 40% of your health. Okay, so... Complete the first mission and defeat. Okay, so I need to kill a fuckload of enemies with my special attacks. What is considered my special attack? I can't remember what's considered special attack in this game. That's my strong attack. Okay, so your special attack is like your ultimate ability. You know, that, that's pretty fair, I think. Especially as Ganondorf, your special attack is pretty insane. Great example, this right here. 82. <laughs> Did you ask for two? Because that's exactly what I'm bringing. Okay, we talked about, like, what Zelda is best Zelda. What Ganondorf is best Ganondorf? I think a lot of people really like the uh, Wind Waker Ganondorf, which I can't blame them. Wind Waker Ganondorf is pretty badass. Um, I like it when Ganondorf is actually present. I don't like it when he's gone the entire game, which is sad because he's usually gone for most of the game anyways, like in every Zelda game. I think that's why I like, uh, that's why I like Gita him so much. Because he's not gone for the entire game. He's extremely present the entire playthrough. Like, when you go through Skyward Sword, you go on an adventure, and you are fighting Gita him every single step of the way. And he always seems to be a step ahead of you. And I feel like that's part of the charm of, like, the character and everything going on, you know? I feel like it keeps it extremely interesting overall. Like, the fact having that, you know, that bad guy to constantly one-up you everywhere you go. 
Like it's it's and it's it's an interesting like adventure. Now, like the only time I think that I've ever seen something where having like a like I feel like it's difficult to show like any type of uh danger without having like a present villain of some kind. Like I think my I feel like like great example with Lord of the Rings. Like even with Sauron being extremely like non-present, I think they did a good job making him present by giving him the influence of Saruman, like influencing Saruman into his arms. And then also the Nazgul, like the Nazgul being an extension of uh, Sauron. I think that was like something they did really, really good inside of Lord of the Rings. Like if they just had Sauron sit in his tower and do fucking nothing the entire time, and then you just fought orcs or whatever, like that, that would've been kind of lame. Agatha doesn't realize she's already dead. Yeah. Yeah. Bye, Agatha. I'm so sorry, but I'm also genuinely not fucking sorry. God, I love these combos. They're just so good. <laughs> the way this man laughs is too much. Um, is it going to spawn that Skulltula anytime soon, or is that a no-go? Oh, there it is. Why is it all the way up there? It's so far away. Okay, that's fine. If he's in danger, it's all right. It's not like I'll lose the mission or anything. Like, if I lose the mission, who cares? When Waker Ganon is Ocarina Ganon, Twilight Ganon is too. Yeah, technically, yeah. Hold up, let me... I will say... The Ganon and Wind Waker, though. The reason the Ganon and Wind Waker, in my opinion, was... Fuck, well... Oh, never mind. The Skull Tool's already spawned. It's okay. The only reason I think that, like, um... What works really well for Wind Waker Ganon is that he, like, explains his motives. So I feel like if he explained his motives throughout the game as well as he did at the end of the game, he would be an even better villain than he already kind of, like, was. Like, he felt really present, and he felt very intimidating. They did a... They did a very good job building him up in that game, and he had, like, decent enough presence. He could have had more presence, but they did a good job with that. I feel like they I feel like they should have talked about his motives for a little bit before the very end of the game. And I feel like that would have really lifted him up to be, like, an even better villain than what he was. Oh, my God. So many fucking enemies just beating the fuck out of Impa. Shut up, Zant. The real villain is here. Anyways, I gotta go now. See ya. No problem, Frones, guys. You have a lovely evening, man. Remember those uh, those games when Link talked the Zelda CDI, the Face of Evil, and the Wanda Gamelon. They talk about they talk about Sauron too much. I wanted to learn about Morgoth, the guy who's much stronger than Sauron. I mean, yeah, but like the only reason I think they wouldn't really talk about him is because, like, he wouldn't be technically present as far as, like, I mean, very much so, yeah. But, like, it, I think the only reason, like, they wouldn't be too concerned about it is that, I just read that one comment. I'm so hungry I could eat an Octorok. I fucking hope not. Um, the only reason I don't think they would really talk about, uh, Morgoth, Morgoth, whatever his name was, too much is because he wasn't, like, he wasn't the direct youth, like, you know. Like, he is the person puppeting Sauron, but he is not, like, directly present within everything going on in Lord of the Rings. At least as far as I understand. I didn't read the books, but as far as I saw, like, in the movies or understand from most of what I've seen, like, he's obviously a big part of Middle-earth and everything going on. He, he wasn't, like, a part of, like, the Lord of the Rings particularly. And do you save somebody? Somebody's low health, and I don't I don't know for how much longer. They might be dead. I mean, if they are dead, that'd be pretty funny. I walked right by him. 
My man really got in danger and then decided to be totally okay as soon as he, as soon as I walk, decide to come help him. Oh no! You're all already dead. Those never existed, Gold. They never existed. Sure is boring around here. Stupid fucking Zelda CDI, dude. Gold, I will. <laughs> And big ball of power. Gone. Fucking deleted. Well, and just like just like any Dark Lord would do, I just destroyed the entire good guy military with ease. We're already almost at 2,000 kills. Be the enemy commander. I think I need to go over here and get the uh, one fairy, and then I need to go over there and actually like defeat the boss. And that's all I need to do. I'm pretty sure I've already got enough kills and I've taken very little damage, so that's all I need to do now. Plus, I don't think there's actually any other hidden stuff. I think it was just the Skulltala. So it's yeah, that should be pretty good. Explosion. Then let there be an explosion. Then there we go. The people ask, then they shall receive. I will keep the explosions coming as much as possible. There will be consistent explosions for the rest of the stream, for the rest of the uh, mission. I said stream, that I can't promise. That sadly, I cannot, I cannot guarantee explosions the rest of the stream. I can guarantee the rest of the mission, but not the stream. Fuck me, dude, I need to walk all the way over here. You know, for a wizard or a warlock or whatever you want to call Ganon, he sure has not developed the fucking ability to teleport yet. And you know what? That's a damn shame. I feel like that'd be a really good ability to research as a as a war wizard or warlock. Come on, take him out. Are we serious? No. Come on, take him out. Is that in range? I hope that's in range. Yes. Yes. Shut up, Impa. You're not the real villain. You can't evil laugh like me. I can't really do an evil laugh either. Every now and then I'll do an evil laugh. King of Hy Hyrule. My boy, peace is what all true warriors strive for. Is it though? Is it though? Let's be honest here. Let's be honest with ourselves. Would a true warrior strive for peace? Would he? Let's let, let's get real real quick. If I feel like if I was a warrior and my entire purpose was to fight and become stronger to protect people, I feel like fine like continuing to get better as a warrior would be like my entire existence. So I feel like I'd have the Felix mentality from like uh you know from like three houses to where I'd want to have a worthy opponent so I could uh you know continue to increase my Strength as a warrior, basically. I'm so sorry, Minda. Let me just do glass cannon and then do my ultimate. Oh, you're dead. Yeah, there we go. As everyone knows, Ganon's a glass cannon build. That was the wrong idea. I should have done this when I knocked over the Dongo. Damn it. You know, even though we literally just did this mission today, I've already forgot every part of this mission. Amazing. That's all right. Whatever. Okay, I was going to say, whatever I do, don't get hit by anything, please. But yeah, I feel like me, if I was like actually practicing the blade and getting stronger every single day, like knowing me as a person, I feel like finding worthy opponents and like getting better would be like the number one thing to strive for for me. Because even now, like for me playing video games, <laughs> I fucking hate playing video games where I win effortlessly 24 seven. Um, I like to win, yes, but I like to see someone do something that impresses me and then figure out how they did it so I can then learn how to do it as well.
Oh, he's dead. This has got to be dead, right? What? What? Who says? Who says you're alive, King Mr. Dodongo? Oh, I hope this gets in your mouth. It did? I hope this gets in your mouth. That's a that's a fantastic quote. Don't quote that one, please. That sounds bad with or without context. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> God damn it. I need to start talking so much, bro. I stay up so late, I start talking, and some weird shit gets said. Once it hits 1 a.m., it's just like, all right, someone get out the list. Get ready. It's about to get, it's about to get mad sus. What is this? You got a super rare material. You can use it to make a really special badge. Is it just a fucking random rare material? Is that all it is? If that's all it is, I'm going to be a little disappointed. Watch it not even be, like, a really rare material. It better literally be a material from Ganon. Like, you know, the rarest boss in the fucking game. It better be. God, he looks so silly. <laughs> See, I can't do my evil laugh on purpose. Like, when I'm genuinely laughing, like, actually full laughing at something myself, I, I do an evil laugh, but, like, it's I can't do it on purpose. I don't have that on-command evil laugh like Ganondorf does. He's got that power that I do not sadly have. Yeah, it's literally going to be a random... Yep, just fucking Agatha's Pendant. Waste of my damn time! Whatever. I got the Skulltula. That's okay. The Skulltula was the whole reason we came here. That might have been the last mission I'm doing for the night. Maybe. Let me see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is, but... I'm going to double check. We might... I might do one more. We did make quite the progress, though, today. I might do a short one. Defeat all the enemies. All right. Well, those are difficult ones, though. What level is Ganondorf? Let's see. Let's listen to the Skyloft theme. Listen to the Skyloft theme. Um, let me... Okay, I'm level 36. We've got this. At the level 120, we got Loyla. Then, yeah, we can listen to the Skyloft theme. I'm fine with that. Here, let me, uh, let me turn up the game volume. Turn up the game volume just a little bit. The background music. We need Skyloft. Where is it at? Show yourself, Skyloft, please. This one? It's really quiet. Let me... Oh, damn. It's actually kind of loud. How is it, chat? Honestly, not that loud. There we go. There we go. I hope you weren't planning on listening to me today, because you're absolutely the fuck not listening to me. You are jamming to Skyloft theme. Why is Skyloft theme in the center of the seventh circle of hell? <laughs> God damn it. Oh no. It's evil Pac-Man. It's scaly evil Pac-Man. This is Pac-Man in the darkest timeline. I hope we're all ready to fight him. Bernadetta dancing. Dancing Poplio. I mean, fair. Oh, fuck me. You know, this probably is a really good way. Yeah, let me get away from him. Ah, the stupid Beemos. I don't know why you're doing that. Kind of busted, to be honest with you. Okay. Fuck you, imprisoned! Iframes, bitch! You, you will not be getting out of this this easily. Nope. I will not let you leave. You are stuck in this hell with me. I'm going to do three damage. Check it right here. 
That's not bad. I mean, it took everything I had to do that, but that was not bad. I'm gonna do this just so I get iframes to get him off of me. Mr. Imprisoned Sir, please stop. Wait, are you kidding me? He still has a toe left? Okay, get rid of that toe. Thank you. Yeah, no. Ah, no, no. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh. Who's ready? All his toes are mine! I refuse to share! Yup, and you're gone. And game for our friend here. You know, I swear, it better not... Uh, no, but for real, the, uh, wait, why are you, uh, how are you alive? How are you alive? Whatever. I fucking love Ganon. There is no reason. I mean, there is a reason for him to be this OP, but this is stupid. Ganon has casually defeated a very overleveled in prison with very little care or concern. And we got the gold drop. Yes. Okay. As long as it's not that in every single room, we should be fine. Um, Lol, Ganon is fighting the very creature that gave him all his power. Um, I love how he used Ganon to kill the creature that gave him gave his life power. I mean, yeah. Ga Ganon? <laughs> it's like, I don't know why this is coming to mind, but it's like that one scene in Naruto when they're like, Sasuke, he reminds me of Madara, and Sasuke's like, am I supposed to care? That's, that's literally what, that's what Ganon's doing. He's the edgy teenager telling you if he's supposed to care or not, and he's not. Okay, okay. So, first off, last cannon. Secondly, this is gonna one-shot all of you. Get wrecked. Come back next time. Yes! Talk about a time save. I literally could not have done a better time save than that right there. See, that is... So when you when you play a game enough and you have such a analytical, analyzing gamer brain like I have, then, then you start to make these plays, and no one can stop you from making said plays. Because of how good you are in the game. I'm also really humble about it, too. Like, you guys wouldn't understand. Like, with me being this humble, like, you just, you just couldn't understand. I'm gonna die. I'm, I'm literally gonna get B rank by like one damage percent, and I'm gonna deserve it entirely. I want you all to know. God, I do zero damage for them. This is the ones I should've used the glass cannon on. I do zero damage at all. I'm sorry, Lana. <laughs> It had to happen. It had to happen to somebody, and you happen to be the person close. Bye, Lana. You know, Lana, you can probably last one more combo, and I really wouldn't push your luck past that. Lana is actually, I would, I would debate, one of the easier AI characters to fight against. Because she leaves you with a lot of openings, unlike a lot of the other characters. Like this right here. Like that is super easy to get around. Like, I don't know why, but Lana feels like it's super necessary to give you openings. Okay, I'm done trying to charge up my combo thing. Goodbye, Rudo. No! 
All right. Thank you. Thank you for the opening. You know, I would feel really bad if I lost to fucking Rudo as Ganondorf. I would have been pretty fucking insulted. I feel like Rudo is objectively one of the worst characters in the game. If she would have fucking struck me down as Ganondorf, I would have, I would have cried. A rank? Can I get an A rank? Do I hear an A rank? That laugh means A rank, right? 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 Yes! Yes! I wanted A rank for my final mission of the stream. I needed it. I fucking required it. Let me turn this game volume down. This shit's gonna be killing me when I get on a different video game. There we go. Watch the new anime I've been watching. Tony Kawa is about a dude who gets married. Edgy, you built like an A rank. I'm built like an A rank? Oh, fuck yeah, dude. I am built for success. All right? Nothing but. I am... <laughs> I am... I'm built like an A rank. That means if I stand up, I'm an A, so that means I'm winning. And if I stand up, I go upside down, and I get... And I just, you know, cut myself down the middle, I become a V for victory. I can't lose. And if I turn sideways, I become a greater than symbol, a greater than symbol, which stands for I'm greater than whatever challenge I'm facing. You know, mic drop, leaving, done for the night. Fucking destroyed. Unbelievable. Cannot, cannot beat me. You got Lana's cloak. What a fucking weirdo. Of course, Ganon's the type of creep to be like, God, I, I stole this girl's cloak. What a... What a, what a legendary creeper move to make. <laughs> like, honestly, what a weirdo creeper move, move to make. Okay, can I save the game? Oh, it's saving for me. Okay, good. Well, this has been Hyrule Warriors, and this has been the eventual goal to me getting to uh, 100%. We are now 50% done with one map, 7% done with another, and then fuck my life, don't look at the rest of it. It's okay. My life is a constant grind into infinite madness and we will never reach our goal. So when I do finish this uh, playthrough when I'm 47, um, feel free to support me or also don't. I don't, I, you know, I, I, I said I don't care. I do care. I do have fun. It's way funner when you guys are actually here. I like talking to myself, but it's funner talking to myself with an audience. Anyways, enough rambling. I need to go to sleep. I need to take a shower. I need to do workouts. And I need to, and I need to eat some Oreos. And most importantly, the Oreos part. And some milk. If you eat Oreos without milk, you're fucking insane. Okay? I don't know. I don't know who hurts you, but you let me know. I will back you up with my greater than victory A rank built ass. Anyways. Anyways. You guys have a wonderful night. And as always... Later, losers. Enjoy. <laughs> Frick, poop, whoop, loopy, boopy. Truly, the next Shakespeare.